Hi guys, today's video is going to be a collab tutorial. I collabed with Brittany and her channel is Brit X Brat 2 Fashion and she has lots of DIY tutorials that I think you guys will love. Definitely make sure you click the links below to check out her tutorial and check out her websites where you can purchase her designs and her other social networking sites. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this DIY floral jumpsuit with a zipper closure. To start off with, for your sleeves and bodice patterns, I have two previous tutorials. In the first one, I show you how to draft your own pattern pieces for the bodice as well as the sleeves. And in the second one, I show you how to alter the bodice patterns to add a zipper. I really like making pattern pieces myself. In this way, I can use these pieces in lots of different applications like this jumpsuit today. So to start off with, I have my fabric folded over and I'm going to take my front bodice piece and I'm going to lay that down along the fold and you can see I have it marked here. Go ahead and cut that piece out and you should have one front bodice piece that looks like this. Next you're going to go ahead and take your back bodice pattern and you're going to cut that out and you'll end up with two pieces. On the wrong side of the fabric, I applied interfacing that was about an inch wide and just pressed that down. I did this because my fabric is lightweight and I wanted my zipper to lie nice and flat. And this is what your two pieces should look like once you've done that. And I went ahead and surged off the edges just to make it look nice and neat, but that is optional. Next, go ahead and take your two pieces for your bodice and line them up right sides facing right sides and sew a basting stitch all the way down. Remember, you're not going to back stitch at the ends. You're just going to sew one long basting stitch all the way down. And this is what it should look like once you've done that. I went ahead and pressed my seam flat. And you guys can see the interfacing here on the underside. Just go ahead and flip that piece over. And you're going to line up your two bodice pieces with right sides facing right sides. And you're going to go ahead and sew your side seams and your shoulder seams. Once you've done that, just go ahead and flip it inside out. And your bodice piece is done. Next, we're gonna move on to the high waist wide leg pants pattern. I have a tutorial, which is basically my wide leg pants for beginners tutorial, where I show you this method. You trace around it, including room for your seam allowance. And this time I'm just drafting it as a pattern. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take my bodice piece and lay that at the top of the waistline and I extended it over about an inch. And then I'm just gonna retrace that crotch seam. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and extend it up, and I did this by measuring in between the bottom of my bodice pattern and the top of my pants plus seam allowance, and I'm just marking the seam allowance here. Go ahead and cut out your pattern, and this is what it should look like when you're done. Make sure you leave enough room at the bottom for your seam allowance. I'm going to fold mine over twice, so make sure if you're doing that, you have enough room to do that, and also include enough length if you're going to be wearing heels. Then I take my bodice pattern and I lie that on top with the seam allowances overlapping and I'm measuring the length of my zipper here and I'm just going to mark that. From that point is where I'm going to do my basting stitch on my pants and that is what these little dashes represent. Go ahead and cut out your pattern piece for your pants and you're going to sew down each side of the pants with right sides facing right sides. Once you've done that, this is what they should look like. You want one of your pant legs to be folded with the wrong sides facing out and the other with the right sides facing out. The pant leg that has the right sides facing out, you're gonna go ahead and tuck that into the pant leg with the wrong sides facing out. And you're gonna line it up nice and neat. And then you just wanna go ahead and pin down at the crotch seam first just to make sure it's lined up even. And then you're gonna pin and sew down each of the other sides, which will make up your front and back center seam for your pants. Once you've done that, this is what it should look like. And it doesn't matter on which side, but on one of the sides, you'll wanna go ahead and do your basting stitch. And you guys can see my basting stitch starts here and then goes up to the top of the pants. And here is what the pants look like when they are folded with the right sides out. Then I added interfacing along the basting stitch of the pants on both sides. 
And just like you did with your back bodice patterns, I'm just gonna open that up and then go ahead and press that seam down with my iron. And now's a good time to go ahead and take your zipper out of your package. You're gonna press it down with low heat to make sure that it's nice and flat, and you can go ahead and set that aside. Working back with the pants, I pin about an inch from the center seam, and I'm gonna do a basting stitch from pin to pin. Make sure you leave the threads on the end long, because it just makes it easier to gather and pull your fabric together for your basting stitch. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck my bodice into my pants. You want your bodice to be facing right sides out and your pants to be facing wrong sides out. Then you're just gonna go ahead and line up your center back seams, which is where your zipper is going to be applied. So you wanna make sure that they're nice and even so your zipper is nice and even. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling on the bobbin thread, which is the thread that's underneath. And once you pull on that, you'll notice that your fabric will start to gather. And we're doing this again because your pants are wider than your bodice, so you just wanna gather and pin it all the way around until they are both the same size and they match up nice and neatly. Go ahead and take that to your machine. And then I start on one side I'm gonna sew down, back stitch, and then just continue working my way around until I come around the other side and you're not going to sew over that back seam because you won't be able to open up your zipper. So stop short a little bit, back stitch, and your bodice and pants are now attached. Next, we're gonna go ahead and attach your zipper. And you want to go ahead and put your zipper in with the right sides facing up. And I pin it about a half an inch or so below my neckline since I'm going to fold my neckline over. And I'm just going to pin it all the way down. You can see I pinned it here, extending all the way down into the pants. And you just want to sew down, over, and all the way back up. Once you've done that, you're going to take a seam ripper and take out your basting stitch. And you have completed your zipper. All you need to do now is just go ahead and cut off the end of the zipper on each side. And first, I do go ahead and serge the neckline just so it's nice and neat and because I'm only folding it over once. Go ahead and pin it down all the way around the neckline and then you're just going to top stitch over the neckline which is just sewing on top of the fabric and then you just need to go ahead and hem your pant leg if you would like to know how to add a pocket to this definitely click anywhere in this video or i'll have the link below for that tutorial and here is another look at the finished product you can choose to add sleeves you can choose to leave the sleeves out you can make it high waist shorts change it and customize it any way you like but thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Definitely check out how I style this pic on my blog. I'll have the link for that below. And if you try this tutorial out, I would love to see. So you guys can tag me at Nadira037. I also have this great giveaway going on right now from Maymuna Accessories. You can win all four of these pieces and there's still time to enter. The giveaway ends on Sunday. So definitely click anywhere on this video or check out the link below so you can get a chance to win these gorgeous pieces. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, comment, share, and give the video a thumbs up. And remember, if I can do it, so can you. Until my next video, assalamu alaikum. Peace.